BPMD's RPI offering creates strategy-driven end-to-end improvements to maximize value creation through finding high-impact, low-maturity processes that are ideal targets for improvement. It consists of six main steps. The first phase includes the identifying the scope along with collecting and structuring information, while the second phase focuses on analysis and defining a plan of action. Once the data is uploaded into the tool, the process discovery widget shows the typical linear pathway through the process. However, by using the connection scale and increasing the percentage, we can see the less common pathways. This builds the picture of what is actually happening in the organization and not just the best case happy path scenario. From this, we can identify rework and activities that are generally taking longer to complete. Rework is whereby a task has to be done more than once due to errors. In our case, we can see that purchase order approved takes a long time to complete. Now that we have identified PO approvals as a potential issue due to the long cycle time, we can investigate this further using the PI tool. These widgets allow us to get more granular level details such as which companies and PO types are performing the worst. The vertical bar represents the average cycle time for the create PO to approve PO activity. Colossal Compressing is the company with the highest approval cycle time with the process taking close to 18 days. While Framework Order PO is the worst performing PO type taking 22 and a half days. The tool can provide key metrics such as average cycle time with respect to the overall procurement cycle time. It takes approximately 9 days on average to approve a PO. We can also see the percentage of POs which have been approved. This is currently 49.85%. 58.76% of POs currently have some sort of rework associated with them which is above the target of 10% set out by the business. On average, POs have a value of £3,274 and having POs which take long to approve increases the overall cycle time from 62 days to 92 days and 6 hours, negatively impacting the efficiency of the business. The PI tool provides us with a quantitative view on the situation. To gain a better qualitative understanding of what is actually happening on the ground, we conduct interviews with subject matter experts or SMEs. Having conducted SME interviews, this is the corresponding as this process model being followed by SmartWorks. The activities highlighted in red are found to be the pain points within the process. As manual printouts significantly slow down the process and cause the long cycle times we have seen earlier in the PI tool. Having identified the problem of slow cycle time of PO approvals, the root cause of this problem are the manual system used, digital printouts being made, and the resulting errors from the manual checks carried out. To mitigate this problem, SmartWorks can automate PO approvals by using the existing ERP system, increasing the quality and efficiency of PO approvals. The 2B process model represents the adapted process once the work package has been implemented. The PO approval is now done automatically using the SAP system highlighted in blue, removing the need for the purchasing manager to be involved and reducing the errors in POs. We can run a simulation on the as-is process model to see the current cost to the business of the entire approval process as well as the total cycle time. Presently the cost is £24,050 and the cycle time is 15 and a half days. If we compare this to the simulation run on the 2B process model, the cost to the business of PO approval drops to 10,000 and the cycle time reduces to just 5.5 days. Next step in the process investigation is to use live insights. This is where insights found through a process investigation can be displayed in the collaboration hub to end users. Clicking on an insight will provide specific information regarding that insight which is useful for monitoring performance. These insights can be viewed at both a high and low level. They can be used to provide insight about specific task performance within a process as well as provide insight about the performance of a whole end-to-end -end process.